Hi guys! Today I'm going to talk to you about what are the bare minimum requirements you need to make a vlog YouTube channel like mine. I'm going to emphasize like mine because if you have a YouTube channel and it's about gaming and you're live streaming and all that kind of stuff, this is probably not going to be as relevant. Although some parts might be not what I'm going for. So we're talking about walking around possibly, maybe sitting at your desk, getting a camera, videoing yourself, talking, um, or sharing about what you're doing. Okay, let's do this. So I will talk about the bare minimum kind of requirements, but I'll also give you some tips, some things about like what I do and talk a little bit about gear as we go, because I'm sure that a lot of people have questions that are more technical and other people have questions that are like, but can I do this? And let me answer that one right off the bat. Yes, you can. Some people will tell you that this is the stuff that you need to start a vlogging channel. While others will tell you that really all you need is this. And the truth is that both can be true. You really don't need a whole lot of stuff to start a vlog. Uh, you may want to increase the things you have as you go later on, but you really don't need a lot. The bare, bare minimums are you need to have a camera something to record you. Otherwise, you're not gonna be showing anything to the world. I've tried a lot of different cameras. In fact, I started my channel with an iPhone 6. The quality was atrocious and I was a complete newbie. And so, yeah, like go back and look at my first videos. They are uh, quite comical, I think. <laughs> but you know what? I was happy with them anyway and you have to start somewhere. So a phone is definitely something that you can have to just do your vlog, especially because nowadays phones are even better than they were when I started. So I have an iPhone 11 Pro Max here and, uh, and it's okay. And I actually will use it for some of my B-roll and some of my videoing that maybe I just, it's not convenient for me to have like my whole camera. Um, and it's okay. I don't, love it for um, a couple of reasons. One, the onboard audio is not wonderful. Um, and two, I don't know, I like to I like to work with my bigger cameras, but it is sufficient. It absolutely is sufficient. The uh, the video quality is good and um, and the audio is acceptable. I've also tried little uh, gimbal cameras like the Osmo Pocket or this one, which is a cheap version called the Fayu Tech. Let's see if I can get it there for you to see. Yeah, it was, uh, you know what? It was definitely uh, doable. It's, it's small, it has a built-in gimbal, which means that while you're walking, your video is going to be stable. That is very, very important. I'll get to that in just a second. So those are okay. I didn't find the quality as good maybe as the, uh, the Canon M50 that I'm using now. I love these little cameras. Like we're talking a small mirrorless camera. It has a flip out screen and I can attach an external mic. And this is my favorite way to vlog. Definitely not a requirement, but something that I would recommend if you have the money or you have the desire to, uh, to use it. The other thing I have tried and I want to mention is the uh, the GoPro, like Hero 9, Hero 10, all those. They're okay. I find that their detail is not as good as the mirrorless cameras, but certainly if you're doing a lot of action or if you just want something really small, uh, like the gimbal camera I showed you previously or the GoPro, they're they're good enough. They're They're definitely decent cameras for that. Another option for you, if you really don't have anything, is just use your computer. A computer with a camera on it, that can also be uh, something that you use. Okay, so you have to have a camera. I will talk about the gimbal. So the gimbal is something that helps you to, while you're walking or moving, 
keep your camera image steady. It is very, very important uh, because at the beginning I didn't have a gimbal and I've seen other people with videos not using a gimbal. The older uh, phones will not have very good image stabilization in them. And so what happens is the, the video is very shaky and it is unfortunately annoying to watch but also can cause uh, motion sickness in the viewers. So that is, you know what, it's not a requirement again. If you want to make your video and you don't care about that, that is a-okay. But if you'd like, uh, I highly recommend some sort of either a gimbal, image stabilization, or just set your camera on a tripod, like leave it on a desk, and you should be good to go. Next up, something you need to know before you start your vlog. What is your goal? So there is a very big difference between making vlogs, videos that record uh, your life for posterity, maybe for your grandchildren, for your children, just so that you have a record, something for personal satisfaction only, very different than if you want to create a vlog that is uh, gaining an audience, building um, a customer pool for you to do, uh, to work, to make a living. Those are two different goals and they will result in two different paths in terms of the things you're going to do in terms of getting there. So if you're just recording for yourself or for your family, then you have to think about what do I want? What do they want to see? What do I want to record? And um, it's really just mostly about, about you, which is fantastic. I would also say that even if your goal is to get a following and to gain customers and so on, that you actually do still want to think about what it is that you want and what your goal is and what makes you happy. Because if you want to do something long term, you have to be able to do it long term and still want to do it. So what will you film? you need to kind of figure out whether you need to have a specific subject matter. <laughs> uh, my subject matter is photography and hiking and outdoors and just creating and uh, connecting with you guys. You don't have to have a specific subject matter. Maybe your subject matter is you. So your vlog is just a, um, a record of who you are and that is completely fine. But, um, it does help to have a, an idea of what you're going to be doing and that way you have a goal to work towards while you're filming, while you're editing, while you're uh, doing your creative thing. Speaking of editing, there is another thing we need to talk about. Editing software. So you've recorded this fantastic vlog on your camera, on your phone, on your computer. Now, how do you make it ready to upload to YouTube and get it out there for people to watch? Do you need to have specific editing software? I'm going to say no, you don't have to, but I would recommend some way that you can go over what you've done and make it to your liking. So I use Premiere Pro and I quite enjoy uh, editing through that software. It gives me lots and lots of control. It's not cheap, it's through Adobe, and that is one option. You don't have to go that route. There are lots of fantastic apps. In fact, uh, some of them are quite simple to use and have quite a bit of, um, quite a bit of, of features that give you full control as well. There's an app called CapCut. That one is really, really great. You can use that to edit your videos, to um, make them ready for publishing. There's also one that is absolutely fantastic and it's called LumaFusion. So are these free? You can find free options out there. Some of them are just a not too expensive one-time uh, one time purchase. And some of them like Adobe are a subscription that are <laughs> not uh, cheap, but they do give you the control that you may want. So something to edit is not absolutely necessary but it is something that I highly recommend because especially with a vlog style video while you're going you're going to make mistakes you're going to record things that are you know 
silly, boring, you're gonna sneeze, you're gonna need to blow your nose, you're going to um, drop your camera, you know, all sorts of things will happen. You're going to have people who are photobombing you. <laughs> The thumbs. <clears throat> wow. <laughs> Some. I love editing. <laughs> what else was I gonna say? There was something else, Eli. <clears throat> and there's gonna be noises. People are gonna start up, you know, big tree cutting uh, machines behind you as you're walking in the forest. All those things happen it does help to be able to at least splice up your video put things together add little clips that may make it more exciting for you i highly recommend editing software i also highly recommend having a bit of a thick skin because there are people who are going to criticize your work no matter what you put up no matter how wonderful it is no matter how kind and lovely and beautiful it is there are people who will criticize there are some people who will be downright mean but it helps to remember that there are also innumerable people who will find your work uplifting and hopefully one of those people is you the thumbs down and the comments that are kind of negative you should just brush those aside i won't lie to you they will hurt especially at the beginning and then as you go you will start to Kind of laugh at them and not worry so much if it really 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 bothers you and it starts to bring you down then maybe there's another avenue in which you can do this that will not be as difficult to deal with so there you have it what do i do when i'm making a vlog i put my camera uh batteries on the chargers i put <laughs> i make sure i have Look all of this. my uh <laughs> Make sure I have all of my guest stars lined up. <laughs> my son is helping me with this video and my cats. <clears throat> put the SD cards in the camera, the batteries in the camera, put the camera on the gimbal. I get my gear, I go out, I make a video. Sometimes I have no idea what I'm going to be doing, but I go anyway. Record a video, come home and you know, I let it sit for a little bit of time. Then I take my SD cards, I put them into the computer, I download everything, I put all of my videos into one folder, I put all of my pictures into one folder, and I start editing my photos, because this is a photography channel. Then I start putting everything into Premiere Pro, I start editing, and um, oh, while you're out there making your vlog, I also highly recommend making a thumbnail. Sometimes it's really hard to find a thumbnail through in the footage that you've shot. So sometimes I will uh, video myself in the spot that I want to have uh, as my thumbnail picture and I'll just sit there like this or, you know, or whatever it is. <laughs> so then you make sure that you have your thumbnail. Edit your thumbnail, upload to YouTube and Bob's your uncle. It's, uh, it's not hard, don't be intimidated. I know it can be really, really um, intimidating. I know a lot of people who have wanted to start a YouTube channel and they just don't have the confidence to start. And um, I'd like to encourage you, if I could start with my iPhone 6 and have no clue what I'm doing, you can do this too. It's, it's fun and it's really, really satisfying. It's really personally satisfying and uplifting. Okay, so if you have any questions, guys, I know I didn't cover extensively everything and uh, and all, but if you have any questions, put them in the comments below. Um, maybe I can answer them during the next video. Maybe I can answer them right there in the comments. Uh, maybe I can make a follow-up video. Okay, so it's great to see you. I'll talk to you later, guys. Bye.